combat skills. Okay. What do we have here? Hmm? Spider webs again. Ooh, critical hit on the spider web. It's useful. And the spider's attacking me. Atragok! Oh gosh, combat is slow as ass. Help me! Smartly know me, lad. Blotch. What the shit? Inside the glass tank lies a large snatcher. It looks old and wizened and has a black eye patch and a hook claw. Okay. Shiver me timbers! The landlubber comes to help an old salt like me. Quick out me, beauty. Let me out. I'm trapped. Who are you? Arr! They call me Blotch because I spilled ink on the captain's map. Arr! Threw me to the sharks, they did. But they didn't expect me to swim away. Been a land pirate ever since, but I yearn to go back to the sea. Why aren't you sailing the seas? Arr! I'd be looking for buried treasure in this old town. But then I had too much rum in the tavern in the morning. I found myself on this brick. Lost all my pieces of eight. What's happened here? I'll be buggered if I know what happened in all, to all these land lubbers. Some ugly racket warriors rushed in here, then a bright flash. Cormac and the spiders just froze up. No one's been here since, and I'm starving in this cage with nothing but a giant cheesecake to eat. And what's worse, I just ate the last of it. Snatch your birds loudly. <coughs> I'd give a piece of eight for a good cookie and a grog right now. Arr, when I catch the lizards, I have a mean right hook. I'll let you out. Blow me down, there's a hero when you need one. You got to help poor old sea dog. I'm in a real fix. There's no old no glass, me lad. Tis some kind of magic. The door opens to the command of the owner. He's that scurvy horn swaggler in the corner, frozen or dead to stone. But there's another way. A diamond could cut through this glass like a cutlass through old Captain Firebit. Arr! But there'd be no diamonds in the whole village. The only one I knew of got eaten by a big red fish. Okay. Uh, take the antidote, soft leather gloves. I can still smell that big red fish. Close your legs then, maybe. Oh, thank you, Pearl. What's that? Carrying food will allow your health to automatically regenerate. Oh, kind of nice. Um, mirror shield? Hoppuff. Hoppuff the great Brave. Oh, I can't believe they petrified him as well. Big red fish. Oh, there's some meat here. Previously frozen fish, you found a big red fish. Its rich aroma numbs your sinuses and leads you to believe that the fish is rather elderly. Is that on the fish? It looks like the fish is cooked in a diamond. Choked on a diamond. You pull the diamond out, wondering how a fish can choke. Maybe it can. Use the diamond to cut open Blotch's glass case. Yeah, sure. Uh, stand back and we'll cut the case open with this diamond. Take off the blue diamond and swiftly cut a hole in the cold glass. Arr, I thought I was going to David Jones' locker for sure. You have the heart of a real buccaneer. I will repay you. Just say what you want and I will get it to you. Um. I want a weapon? Sorry, laddie, I don't have doublons or a cutlass to hand you. But I will wait around here for a while before I weigh anchor and host the missing. Don't be afraid to ask in case you have any need of me. Good luck. No salt now. Through the small hatch you can see Adam, the gatekeeper. He's petrified in a permanent sitting position. Behind him you can see the lever that operates the gate. For some reason the gate isn't completely closed. There's a small gap, not enough for you, but perhaps enough for a small snatcher or a bird. Ha! Huh? Could they rescue the crab, huh? Um, can you open the town gate for me? I can't fit through the gap. Aye, Captain. I was made for the job. Can't reach it, Captain. Snip. Arr. 
Quick thinking, eh? The little snatcher tries to look very pompous. Right, Captain. I'd be gone now. I'm going to hoist the anchor and wait the missing. No, wait. That was the wrong way round. Uh, anyway, I want to give you this. Brought chance to a very small circular device. It's my map. You look so lost that I reckon you need it more than I do. So I'm giving it to you. Keep it in good shape, bucko. And wish me luck. When you have the conversation, you can see your shining new mini-map adorning the top right corner of your stream. Oh, there she is, yeah. Great. The alchemy shop? The torture now. Yeah, why did I carry that anyway, huh? Can I equip the shield? And gloves. Yep. Yeah. Oh shit, it's a wolf. Or is it? Oh shit. Need to get through the door. Hey, look at that. That's Hot Puff's biggest book of monsters on the table. We should take it. Where? Huh. If you find this book, please, please, please return it to Mayor Biscuit at the City Hall. I will re reward you with two gold pieces if you do so. Also, don't read any further. The password is Mrs. Scrub. <laughs> mm-hmm. Shelf has perched the cutest, smallest gargoyle you've ever seen. The gargoyle seems to be frying a small sausage on his candle. It speaks with a high squeaking sound. What's the bad word? Oh, Mr. Scrub. Well, oh, that's the correct one. Go ahead. New level. Nice. Uh, so let skills improve. I've got three points. Let's go for strength, dexterity, and intelligence. Huh? She's a talent. Archery. Shield batch. Poison resistance. Or goldfish scout. What's that? Gives you the ability to see the rare but tasty goldfish that plague the land. Advanced. You can intuitively tell if there's a goldfish somewhere nearby. Uh huh. So that's like a special achievement or what? I'll go for archery. Archery is neat. What do we have here? Bow the pirate's leather armor. Check key. Take bow. And equip that. Nice. Now we're kind of quite the warrior. Mayor's order. Blah, blah, blah. Mayor's order, blah, blah, blah. And there's a biggish book of monsters. That's really kind of biggish. Granny New Moon. When I was a kid, we always thought Granny could do magic, but that didn't save her from being turned to stone. That's not, that's not. Silver Butterfly. Granny's letter. Dear Mr. New Moon, I know nothing I can do. We'll bring Hannah back. I'm saddened beyond words that this happened to her. I know you want to see the thing destroyed, but we can only lock it up and wait for it to get weaker. I'm in close to the two butterflies. Please keep them safe until we're ready to open the chamber. Once then, the alchemist. Hmm? Mysterious things are occurring. This is a rune. Oh shit, run. Why is it not attacking the ginger, huh? You're reacting to it so. Maybe I can fight it. Mother will. I can talk to it! Oh, that's convenient. The moment she catches sight of you, the large wolf bears her huge white teeth. Or you'll find you won't be needing as many shoots from now on. Suddenly you spot a little wolf pup behind her. Or rather, a very lifelike statue of a wolf pup. 
Calm down. What are you doing in Northrop? I thought the only wolves living here were Plothus twin pets. We were visiting my twin brothers. If, if, if it's any of your business, now leave, human girl. Hold on. Why is she angry, huh? Those who walk on two paths cannot be trusted. Sorry for not voice anking. Girl, keep clear of my pup, human. They may have turned her into a statue, which I'm still my child. No one will take her from me. I had nothing to do with turning a pup into stone. I wasn't even here. That was the doing of strangers who attacked Northrop. I should I trust you. You walk on two legs just like them. Wolf tips her head to the side and gazes at you intently. Uh, if I wanted to turn you into stone, you already would have, don't you think? Hmm, maybe so. Then make my pup alive again. I will let you go unharmed. Uh, I intend to find a way to help her and everyone else. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. But how can you help us? Are you a powerful wizard? Mother Wolf looks at you questioningly. Not yet, but I learned fast and I'm very determined. Yes, I'm a powerful wizard and I shall defeat the evildoers. That's a lie, obviously. On a second thought, I have no idea how I'll ever help any of you. Who am I kidding? Goodbye, Mother Wolf. No, let's take that. You have shown a fair amount of determination and courage standing your ground and talking to an angry wolf like me. Maybe you could accomplish something you set your mind to. Please tell me if you know something I can do to help my little jazz. Uh, maybe you could join me. Yeah, that helped out in Fallout, didn't it? How can I follow you? I must stay here and watch over my child. Beside him, I'm no common dgoo. I could bear to be enslaved by them. Mm. Tell me everything you remember. So be it, human. I'll tell you all that I remember. We had just seen a series of strange flashes all around the village when a woman rushed out of the gate, running as fast as someone whose tail is on fire. Then I caught a glimpse of the green man and told us to hide, but she didn't. She just jumped out of the bush and ran towards them, her little tail wagging. My sweet little pup. It must have been my mother. What happened then? I don't know if she was your mother, but from the looks of you, she could have been. Now, where was I? Right before I had the time to run after Giles or even shout at her, there was a bright flash, brighter than anything I've ever seen before. I was completely blinded by it. I couldn't run to Giles, I just didn't see a thing. But I should have saved her, my little one. You're going to stay here anyway, perhaps you could watch over the other statues as well. I will do that. I will stand watch here at the village, guard jazz, and keep an eye on the other statues. But please promise me you will do everything you can to help my pup and the others. I will do my best to get to the bottom of the mystery. Don't worry, Wolfie, I think there's still hope for everyone. Goodbye now. Thank you, human. You might call me Belinda. I'm going to start guard here. Okay, Belinda the Wolfie. Isn't that a tail? Hmm? Find the alchemy shop. This is not the alchemy shop. Oh, there's a block fountain. And then the old strawberry juice. It's a strawberry juice fountain. It still runs. Robert and I always lock the milk fountain there. But that. Kinda of seems um never mind. What was he about to say? Oh no, that's awful lot of text. Um the alchemy shop. What do we have here, huh? Get grief, what's happened to Moon Island? It used to be our best fishing spot. If I had a butterfly, I could place it here. Huh. I see. To find a butterfly. Another one. Can I take the hammer? Nope. How's here? What's that? Shit, is that more wolves? Night wolf, night wolf. 
That must be the house. Goodness, Plotho's missing his left hand. What a strange wound cut off by a hoe. In order. Plotho, I've heard about your terrible lock. It's clear to me that the gardening tool of doom, or whatever it's called, is very dangerous. I'm ordering you to lock it up in your shed until further notice. We're coming to take away the key tomorrow. You must make a biscuit. What do we have here? A wood piece. Huh? There's a butterfly in it. And that's a turtle. Plot had a strange accident with this new hoe. Oh, it's his gardening tool, not his woman or some shit. Hoe of doom. A hoe of doom. A hoe of doom. The Hoe of Doom received its name from Plotho, whacking many toes of his brothers and fathers. He began to suspect it was enchanted, fearing more damage he locked the Hoe in his shed and has never been seen again. Damage 4.0. There's still 3.0, so let's equip it. I'm now attacking with the Hoe of Doom. Grote blotch. You find a particularly large grote blotch. Were it not petrified, you'd probably be knee deep between the lizard's fangs right now. Kick it. Nope. Nope. Lee. Found another turn. Oh, there's an enemy. This is the Ho of Doom. Die to the gardener. Night wolf. Petrified. Petrified. Petrified turtle. Finger root. Finger root oil, very flammable. Hmm. Still don't have no clue where the alchemy shop is. Oh, hot carrot. It's Belinda. Alchemy shop. You're somewhere here. To see farther in ranged combat, use your mouse wheel to zoom out. Right click to stop a ranged attack. Mm -hmm. When you find 